The head unit consists of a defined home page, as well as further additional pages with either four, three, or two widgets. We can also slide down a upper bar, which consists of eight or rather nine items if the engine is turned off, which are nothing else but shortcuts. We also have a static upper bar in the right hand corner, which consists of information about notifications, media or radio, we're about to hear a car sound, we're going to turn the music off again, we're going to move on to the driver profiles. And last but not least, settings regarding date and time. We're going to take a look at the five menu points on the left side. We're going to start off with media and radio. Back to the home screen, followed by communication. Back to the home screen. Navigation. Back to the home screen. Car. One more time. And last but not least, apps. And back one more time. If we click the edit icon in the upper left corner, we can edit the different pages. For example, page two, we're gonna delete an app, press yes. We're gonna go back to page one and change that as well. We can get to the home screen by choosing the button and the control elements or by using the little house that appears in the upper left corner every time we choose one of the five menu items. Navigation, back to the home screen, car, back to the home screen, and of course apps, and one more time, back to the home screen. The next thing we're gonna do is take a look at the widgets. If we click one of them, they move into full screen view, back one more time, and the media widget, same thing, full screen view. And back to the home screen. We're going to continue by editing our page by personalizing our widgets. We're going to press the middle button and we can now select content for the widget. We're going to take a look at the list. We're going to move further down. And we're going to have a closer look at them in a minute. We're going to choose Route Preview, which looks like a compass. We can choose Sport Displays, Media Radio, the Weather Widget, Driving information. Position. The communication widget. The traffic widget. The navigation widget, for example, map views. We can choose between different map views. We're going to choose direction of travel, the north oriented option, perspective, route overview, activated or deactivated, and here we even have to confirm our choices. And last but not least, we have the country information, or of course, the news widget, and for busy people, a clock, analog or techno, and we're done. We're going to move back to the navigation view, 
and we're done editing the page. We have to have a minimum of two widgets stored. We can select a widget from the list and then use plus or minus to add a widget below or above the other one. And as you can see, the content list is the exact same one we've had before. We're going to press OK and that's what that's going to look like. And as you know, if it's possible to add something, it must also be possible to delete something. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to move to the right upper corner. We can add a new widget. It looks exactly the same as before. We can choose a widget from the list. We're going to choose one. It will be added to the left side. We're going to choose one for the right side. And again, we can edit widgets to both sides or delete them if we want to. We're going to take a look at the finished page and as you can see we have added another page next to the home screen. Of course we can also delete a page. Yes or no, we're going to go with yes. But let's not forget that one page always has to exist. So once we're ready we're going to press done and the page has been deleted. We're going to take a look at the drop down menu. We're going to go with adjust main menu and we just get back to the page that we've just visited. It's a shortcut. So we go back to the home screen, drop down menu and recent destinations. And as you can see, we're directly forwarded to the navigation menu and recent destinations. Back to the home screen one more time, drop down menu and recent calls. Again, we're directed to the shortcut for communication and then telephone. Back to the home menu, drop down menu and notifications. We're directed to the shortcut for notifications. We can find that under car or in the shortcuts in the right upper corner. Back to home screen, drop down bar, help and we're being directed to the owner's handbook which can be found under car and owner's handbook. One step back, drop down menu followed by displays and we're directed to displays, shortcuts, car and then settings followed by displays. We're going to move back, drop down menu we're going to swipe to the left and valid parking mode. Here we're going to have to activate a driver profile first. We're going to do that later on, so check out screens if you want to see that. We're going to have to lock in, so we go back and choose the menu point in the upper right corner. Same thing. One more time we're going to move to the drop down menu, press screen off and the head unit is turned off immediately. To turn the head unit on again, we're going to have to press the home button on the control elements. We're going to pull the drop down menu one more time. We're done with that. Nothing to see. So we're going to turn out the engine. IC and head unit are still turned on. We're going to go with vehicle off, which means we can turn out the ignition but not the engine by using the head unit. We're going to turn the engine on again. I see and head unit are turned on. Press the home button and get back to the home screen. We're going to take a closer look at the shortcuts notifications first. The numbers above tell us how many notifications we have received. We immediately receive a service updated notification. We're going to open the door and we get a notification regarding the open door as well. We're going to select all and then move on to select a certain notifications to receive additional information. Check control, door open, we're going to go back, one more step and we're immediately directed to the vehicle status showing that the door is open. We're going to choose current notifications and there are no new ones 
despite the door being open at the moment. We're going to move on to settings. We can activate or deactivate notifications for missed calls, text messages, recommendations, the control display, or the active call. And once we've tried it all out, we go back, back to the home screen, and we're going to move on to navigation. We're going to take a look at the navigation shortcut, but we're going to have to enter a route first. We're going to go with the BMW service, fairly easy. We're going to start navigation. Please follow the directional info on the display when leaving. Please turn right. Please follow the directional info on the display when leaving. Please turn right. We're going to go back to the home screen. And as you can see, we have the little navigation flag in the static upper bar. And if we click on it, we always get back to the route. Next up, we have media and radio. And we're automatically directed to the available stations. We find the same options under media and available stations. We're going to move back and we're going to try a different medium back to the home screen onto media for example bluetooth audio we can see that the icon in the upper right corner has changed bluetooth is activated if we go to the home screen we go to the icon and we're directly forwarded to the bluetooth audio device same goes for the music collection the icon changes and it creates a shortcut to the music collection. Back to the home screen, we're going to listen to some music. En güzel ve en yeni şarkılar gün boyu Metropol FM'de. We're going to mute the radio again and we're going to move on to our next shortcut, Deep Driver Profiles. We go back to the home screen, Car, Driver Profiles, and we have the same shortcut we had before. Our last shortcut is going to be date and time. We also find date and time on the home screen, car, settings, the general settings. We're going to move up a little and choose date and time. <laughs> 